Hello everyone and welcome to another analysis video. Today what we're going to be talking about is the new and upcoming spell damage druid with the new expansion. And basically we're going to be taking a look primarily at these three cards but there are other cards that support this. But there is just a huge contender on getting spell damage with the newer cards shown here. And basically trying to reinvent the spell damage druid archetype now it's been done before as a slight pushes i believe but it's never been a full archetype that they've kind of flourished in and tried to kind of expand on so we'll be taking a look at that just keep in mind it's a new archetype in the whiz bang expansion presumably is probably going to be either control or otk play style and I will be showing you the compatible cards shown for possible deck building if you happen to get any of these cards, especially the legendary. If you guys like this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe and also let me know what you guys think about Spell Damage Druid. I, I think it's in a different direction, but it could be a bit problematic. We'll take a look at that. So starting us off, we have some cards here. These are the cards mentions that have all the uh, Spell Damage archetype, right? We're looking at Chia Drake. Miniaturize, 4 mana, 2, 4, choose 1, gain spell damage plus 1, or draw spell. And again, for those of you that don't know, Miniaturize is basically when you play Chia Drake, you will get a 1-1 one, one in your hand that has that same effect. The next one is Magical Dollhouse. I think it's going to be one of the strongest, and uh, if it's not included in a full spell damage deck, it can definitely be seen in a lot of different types of druid decks that will run uh, damage dealing spells and uh, it could be quite useful. And then the last spell damage generator is going to be Alonius. And Alonius is spell damage plus one. Your spells get double bonus from spell damage. So when you have Magical Dollhouse or two Magical Dollhouse, you can double it for spell damage plus two on each location that can be triggered. Including Alonius as well, it could be quite strong. And this mainly gives me the reason why Spell Damage Druid will be an OTK archetype is because Alonius is very similar to Prophet Velen. And for those of you that don't know, Prophet Velen is like a 7 mana 7-7. Seven, seven. Your spells deal double damage. And this is kind of in that same aspect of, of, of leaning. And it's kind of in that same category. Though that is where the archetype tends to be leaning, or I assume we'll actually see play in, they did print out other additional cards that kind of sway away from that. So a bottomless toy chest is discover a card from your deck. If you have spell damage, copy it. Usually for more value generation could still be introduced in a spell damage OTK archetype. Because if you're needing some form of like small cheap de damage dealing spells, well you can copy it. Now you have it a bit quicker and probably more to play around with. At Woodlands Wonders, the 5 mana spell here, summon 2 one five beetles with taunt, cost 3 less if you have spell damage. So, you know, a little bit on the weaker end. It's supposed to be a defense, I guess, for probably, you know, setting stuff up, but might not cut the deck if it happens to go in an OTK ar archetype, simply because of the fact that there are probably better ways to you know, do some draw generation as much as I would like it for it to be some form of value or control oriented type of play style that's probably new and different. Alonius, I feel, is probably going to be a uh, very OTK type. And uh, you might be wondering, well, what are the cards? Well, if we take a look here, these are all the spells that are included, right? And so this is what we would be looking at in terms of, you know, what kind of spell damage druid has that type of potential and swipe is one of the huge contenders as, as far as leaning towards a control or mid-range archetype because you know it's, it's at a reasonable mana cost that it's not too otk oriented and it does a lot so if you happen to have the location or you know you can definitely combo this with alonius on turn 10 uh, it deals it's a certain damage by a plus two or plus three spell damage and it's pretty good it definitely holds a very good archetype. It might even still be ran in an OTK type deck because of the fact that swipe can be used kind of just to help ensure that you don't die and then you can kind of just continue doing your stuff. Again, I, I strongly believe this will be an OTK style deck. And uh, one of the main reasons why as well is a Sparkling File is a three mana deal two damage. Your next card this turn costs that much less. 
so you know we've got some mana refunds you know it, it practically is and it's kind of just a setup generator and it could it could be very problematic in the terms of an otk style because maybe you know you, you need to do certain things on a set turn it's kind of similar to the two mana that's just rotating i forgot the card it's the arcane starfire or something where it deals three damage and then your next spell this turn costs two less it's very similar to that except it, it benefits from the spell damage which in turn increases your damage and also reduces the cost on your next card the other one was just a spell a, a slight nod is to malfurion's gift as well because it can typically generate you swipe so if you're looking for you know multiple variations if it happens to lean more towards a mid-range control spell damage druid they they definitely are going to want as many swipes as possible because swipe is such a, a really good card when you tie in spell damage to it that it, it's very valid that you can actually see this kind of being granted and included other nods at the bottom there are living roots wrath and lesser jasper spellstone these are very subjective wrath probably being more optimal because it is both spell damage leading on both sides with different types of varying effects living roots again as probably an otk activator to deal certain damage and then lesser jasper spellstone i think this card will be included less in certain decks because now you have to include armor gaining cards and it you may not have enough room to kind of benefit and include that in with with your type of archetype or art, um, style in in terms of play and then I have at the very right here some nods to Yogg-Saron and Prison of Yogg-Saron because of the fact that uh, Prison of Yogg-Saron actually kind of has the type of benefit where, you know, you're casting around the spells from, from both of them. And the best part is that they're targeted and, you know, with the location it's targeted and, and, and the fact that you can... There's a lot of damage dealing spells, so you know, really, like it's a bunch of randomness, but you're gonna get it at a huge effect if you tap your look your druid spell damage location, you and you do praise of Yog. Well, you could get a potential of four spells that are buffed by a spell damage plus one. It, it's a very slim chance, but if if decks are running prison of Yogg-Saron and uh, spell damage druid is included they might just kind of include it in because of the strength and then tie that together there's a lot of different ways you can go about it and you know you could still do things on multiple turns with Yogg-Saron so if you already played this if you already played Yogg-Saron and kind of went through and did your one activation on your second activation it's a free spell so you activate your location on both the druid and Yogg and then you just let them go crazy. Anything anything that's remaining, maybe you do a swipe or maybe you do certain things. Your turn is still not over. So you could still do more damage dealing spells if needed. Anyway, though, I mean, this is the limited pool of damage dealing so far. So uh, again, generation is scarce. And, and that's why I believe Malfurion's gift would have to be included um, if you're trying to use a full benefit of a spell damage druid archetype in terms of a actual deck play style <laughs> we're going to talk about the otk variants and why i think the otk is probably more predominant and the reason why i think that so these are the two cards that i believe will definitely be included is magical dollhouse and alonius now the dragon is a little bit too expensive um, but the miniaturize could be included so maybe it does uh, if they needed more there, there there could be multiple ways so it really does depend but what we're looking at in terms of the process is something like Shattered Reflections, where you summon a copy of said thing, you know? Whether that's more spell damages, maybe you don't even do Alonius itself, maybe it doesn't need Alonius, maybe there's something that can kind of generate you multiple copies of certain things to the deck and battlefield. There's different ways that the reason why I think Shattered Reflections might be included is because in small in to the right of it, reducing the cost of minions in your deck by one and so you could kind of just high roll on alonius or maybe even these dragon uh, spell damage maybe you have the two mana one one blood mage down those so there's the cost reductions of the minions but not only the cost reductions of minions by in smallin but also the cost reductions of clearance promoter to the right of it which also reduces cost of spells in your hand by one so you know if if druid is hap happening to get more comfortable with 
surviving and they can afford to play a three mana three two that reduces two spells in their hand by one well they will definitely do it and and it could definitely play in some sort of aspect and now they may not actually need to reduce the cost of their spells because one of the things that we notice with spell damage archetypes from Sif from mage is that you know typically they would run miracle salesman and get a tradable snake oil and this snake oil is a zero mana deal zero damage but with the combination of spell damage up above well i mean it's a zero mana deal a certain amount of damage now you have definitely more uh, room for just different types of uh, deck building we're looking at this as a combo and um whether it's good or not really does depend but there is a just about as much cards that uh, support an otk archetype as much as the cards that were printed for you know the the plan of a of a spell damage druid it's gonna be a bit of a workaround but i think it will function very similar to sif but the problem with mage is that they didn't have very many survivable tools besides you know certain things freeze effects those all have different types but i think druid does typically have uh, more chances to be survivable and that's why they've kind of been a problem but they got rid of a lot of the mana crystal gaining archetypes so they won't get this as much as quickly as you know possibly the other ones but it's still happening it, it could still potentially happen that's all i'm saying i might try it in a very mid-range control archetype but if my suspicion you know put points me in the right direction this feels very much like how sif would be played and very similar in that aspect and probably even better with the clearance promoter and sif is still in the uh, expansion so some of these neutrals that are shown here clearance promoter specifically could potentially be a, a contender for also being shown but that's going to be it for the video, everyone. If you guys like the video, again, please leave a like and subscribe. And I will be making more analysis videos for all the new expansions coming out. And if you guys have any suggestions, feel free to leave a comment. I am always taking a look. Uh, and as always, thanks so much for watching.